Hello and welcome to the fourth round of the 2016 Bosra MSA GT3 Championship. Round four comes from Circuit Park Zandvoort. Tight, twisty circuit, loads of excitement no doubt. My name's Jason Dilworth, I'm joined here by Alan McCain for the third time this season. How's it going Alan? Not too bad Jason, yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So here's how the grid's stacked up. You can see the first row of Hackerson and Twerk. Uh, Soltau and Chris Parks is a newcomer to the season, although definitely not to iRacing. Then the uh, Bard Twins, followed by myself and Paul Wormsley. Uh, Galenicky and Phillips rounding out the top ten. Hopefully the, the next slot will come up for us, Alan, and I'll leave that in your capable hands if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. And in 11th, we have Matty Van Delden from Motorsport Auctions, myself from Motorsport Auctions in 12th, Ryan Walker uh, for 56, um, Simon Jackson for Synology, Danny Honey Smith for Bowden Solutions, Tyler Lane as a privateer, Chris Pottrell for 56, uh, Jan Malavala. Yeah, sorry if, you. You the, sorry if I butchered the name for Seagate. Uh, Paul but, Burton for going ahead. <laughs> I yeah, a there. Missed them, that's fine. So then we got uh, Woodhouse and Roland, uh, 21st and 22nd. Uh, Berriford and Just, 23rd and 24th. Bradshaw and Bailey. And then White and Phil Gregory wasn't able to make qualifying, so didn't manage to set a time. That's to start from the back of the. Uh, what I'm sure will be an interesting lap. Now for once, for viewers who've uh, seen this before, we haven't actually watched it. So we don't know what's coming up. Hopefully that'll be more exciting for you. So I'm just about to see the start here. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on seventh place. Some idiot forgets to put it in first and uh, holds everyone up. That would be me. So everyone else seems to make a pretty clean getaway regardless of the fact that I'd confused everyone. We see a few cars going on there sounded like some contact there but i didn't catch who it was i think it was one of the back murder one of the the back of the grid people yeah definitely lots of position changes at this moment in time the camera seems to be focused on me trying to make the most of the situation uh who is that martin glenicky going off there and this is uh once again us two fighting so yeah we can see the start again, I don't think it went quite far enough back, uh, I think, I can't remember who it was that went into the back of me, but there we go, there's, uh, there's where the issue was, bit of contact and Dave White ending up straight in the barrier, it's a real shame, see this start again just for the front runners, looks like Barry gets an absolute stormer of a start there, Tony not much slower but gets squeezed out by uh, Chris Parks. Daniel with a superb start. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, of course he's got, uh, got the whole shot taken first position. Barry breaks very early there for the third corner and loses the position he'd worked hard for. Interesting first series of corners for throughout the grid. Oh here we go. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Martin. Um, publicly stupid decision. I've done plenty of standing starts. Never forgot to put it in gear. There we go. It happens. Happens to us all. Yeah. Bit of aero damage for us both. Made my race um, all sorts of difficult from the very beginning. <laughs> as I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, even though we haven't watched the video, we do know part of what happened so and uh, I think I still have to take fault for the fact that Martin's ended up sticking it in the barrier he's um, yeah probably quite put off by that start so apologies again anyway here we're on board with uh, Tobias good qualifying session started in third it's kept that position throughout the whole of this first lap we're coming towards the end of Ben Hackerson there getting all sorts of out of shape in the penultimate corner. I suppose this is the penultimate corner, so. Good sense of speed here. Tomas got way too fast through that corner and uh, 
direct route for the barrier. And we do happen to know that he then rage quit and has received a one race ban. And there you go, no rage quitting. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Is that Rolf has just launched off the front of uh, Woodhouse's car? That's supremely unfortunate. I, I do actually remember Phil uh, coming over the radio and saying, "We're on board." Uh, <laughs> there's somebody has just hit me in the roof. Yeah, <laughs> he just he's got super lucky there not to have ended up with damage. Uh, I mean, we shouldn't laugh. That's a really bad accident for the two involved. Uh, but amazing that anyone else managed to get through there. And uh, what a freak accident! Got Craig here uh, was complaining in the chat that his steering wheel had broken. So after a really good start to his debut race with the Bosra League, he did reconnect and came back. I don't know how many laps later there, back down we might uh, find out later. But uh, Paul Wormsley, oh, spinning bars. Yeah, brilliant bit of uh, what's the word? Getting out of the way. <laughs> Maneuvering. <laughs> yeah, excellent from Paul. So he's got Daniel behind him there, is that? That's, no, it's Dion Phillips behind him. Dion, followed by Tony, followed by myself, <laughs> followed by you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think, is this the lap? Now, I think it is. <laughs> viewers, I'm struggling with a different brake pedal at the moment, so when I brake a bit later than I expect... I've got nothing I can do about it, and I apologise for to Alan at the time. He was a bit out of shape, weren't you? But yeah, I clipped the clipped the inside curb and left me all sorts of shapes, and end up was breaking too hard myself, and end up nothing I could nothing not any of the two of us could do. Yeah, unfortunate racing incident. We both carried on, so that's what matters. We got uh, Taylor Lane. Is this? Yeah. Yeah been relatively impressive and I love that paint job. Some of the privateer paint jobs are pretty good actually. Yeah, I like his especially. It's just it's just there's something about it. It's similar to something else but I just can't put my finger on it. There's a YouTuber who has somewhat similar paints. I forget his name off the top of my head but uh, that might be where you're thinking of it, but anyway, we're, we're focusing on his paint job, and he's actually having a really tidy section of lap here, um, following another newbie, Paul Martin, and drafting him up the straight. I know Paul's really focused on getting good at eye racing, so this is some decent defensive work as well, as long as they don't touch, which they don't. Brilliant work by both. We've got Chris and yourself. Was this clean too? Yeah. Oh yes, it was. Was that you <laughs> making the overtake, or are you, uh, or are you defending there? No, I was making the overtake. It was actually that was me up on the comeback. I actually went down to about thirteenth place. Oh right, okay, so back up to tenth by then. Fantastic. Uh, I actually was catching lap, Chris lap by lap, and it was just one of them ones that just stick it down the inside and hopefully it don't happen. Yeah, got to say though, the, the guys in the 56 team ha seem to be having a much better race. That's Chris up in 11th there, even if he had just been overtaken. That, and we've got a, a probably much faster Barry Bar behind, so yeah. Just sticks it up the inside as well, but Chris doing a great job of uh, keeping it clean. Trying to come back up in there in the mirror, you can see in the mirror there. Yeah, but picking his battles wisely as well. So back up the front, then chasing down Daniel Twerk and uh, got Daniel Bailey in front and he's got that hazard paint on for a reason. That was a good bit of <laughs> late dive by Ben to stay with David through the next section. Kind of got to make those moves happen otherwise you get stuck behind a back marker who's especially quite Especially here. Especially yeah. here. Yeah, very tight. Very, very, very much in a, fl in a flow. Once you move, once you have to move off the flow of the track, it's there's no really any anything you can do about it. Yeah, I, absolutely. I oh, here we go. We've got Ryan here, getting 56 member up on the inside of the Synology car of Simon Jackson. 
Dion here as well. This is a great little three-way battle for seventh place. That fantastic camera view again. Yeah. So close to the car in front. <laughs> Bits of rubber flicking off from the car in front as well. That's really good to watch. Not sure how far behind Barry is of this battle as well. But there we go. Oh, two overtakes happening at the same time. Not sure who the first one is. That's Phil Gregory on Fabian there. Is that the second battle? Yeah, I think so. Good, good battling either way. I think that was actually Craig Parks overtaking uh, okay. to pull a lap back. Of course, yeah, he had a lot of recovery driving to do. Difficult. I'm reading the names off the right-hand side, and then you throw lap people into the balance as well. That's Paul laughing. Dave White, who's recovered with his fast repair. Tony going around the outside as well. You really have to be aggressive with your moves here. Now... I'm, I've been regretting, uh, not looking forward to watching this because I remember it happening and I blamed Paul in front who's there in that white car and it's absolutely not his fault, I've lost it all on my own. Uh, I was getting frustrated that he was a lapped car and then I've just got right in the way of Phil as well. Very embarrassing, you had that little embarrassing bit in the last round and uh, I don't think that's the last of mine that we're going to see in this race, I had an absolute shocker. Anyway. Uh, what have we got here? We've got Taylor Lane, Fabian, and is that... Matty Van D. Yeah, Matty Van D as well. Matty coming, uh, starting to come back on again, uh, on a form again. This is his highest place finish in the championship so far. Or his yeah. highest place at the minute so far. Yeah, tenth at this moment in time, and fighting hard for that ninth position. In fact, they've just both gone up a few places because I had, had that crash on the previous lap uh, although we're up to lap 21 already in this race it's flown by I don't know whether viewers have been keeping an eye on what the lap count has been doing but I certainly haven't he's trying to stick one up the inside tough place to do that I think he'll get the run out on him oh he's forced oh, a mistake Taylor. Taylor getting a bit sideways yeah very much so uh, losing the position and potentially going to lose another one as well. We're back up with Ben and Daniel here. Ben just biding his time for what looked like the whole race. And Daniel's oh, for pets. That was that was very odd bit of blocking, or maybe he was trying to get out of the way by Daniel Bailey as well. But it definitely held Daniel uh, Turk up. It'll be interesting to see how that pans out after the pit stops. Daniel staying out for another lap. So we're on board with Martin Galecki recovering after that start line incident and then followed by another incident later on the same lap. Trying hard. Oh, gets past Honey Smith. Again, really aggressive but super clean move. Just shows this track so tight you've you've got to just break later and hope that the gap's still there when you're there. Yeah. So we can see now Ben coming in for his pit stop. Another lap later. Maybe we'll stick with it. Yeah, we've just yep, cut out the actual pit stop. There's Daniel. Then, yeah. It's going to be just tight. Keeps it. Yeah. Brilliant. That's that's why we've got these mandatory pit stops in this in this league. See bits of brilliance like that. Now back on uh, focus with you here. Those cars look really slow from that far away, but it's not. And oh, that was close, wasn't it? Ryan, Ryan just wrecked a wee bit, a wee bit earlier than, than the usual, but he didn't. Uh, managed it. to get managed to get it stopped. Well done. It has left you open for uh, an overtake from Barry, but that looks like a great race to be in this late on in uh, the session. Yeah, it was. It was one. Uh, this was the round I really enjoyed. I've, I've actually surprised myself, and I surprised a lot of other people were qualified, considering I only got three laps qualifying. Yeah, well, that was uh, a really great effort. You turned up super late, and then uh, got right up there. So, brilliant work. On board with Daniel, 
thinking about a sneaky look up the inside of that Seagate car. Notice the new livery, by the way, on the Seagate cars promoting their new Iron Wolf products. Check that out. Really good livery, regardless of uh, how great I'm sure the products are. The green was nice, but I might have to say now the red and black is nicer. And it does uh, differentiate them from the Acorn Motorsport cars a little bit as well. Yeah, I would have to agree. Okay, so lap 32. We've got Ryan being chased down by the two twins. I've only just found out they're twins, and I think I've mentioned it three or four times so far in this race, so sorry guys. <laughs> Using a new piece of information and running with it. But Ryan getting overtaken by both the Acorn Motorsports cars there. They were having a bit of a shocker as well, unfortunately, and having to recover constantly. Oh, Honey Smith, that's a bit of a weird one. I think he just don't break himself by the look of that. Yeah, bit of a shame. He's, he was running very well. I think that might have been, so far, his highest position up until then. Now we've got Phil Gregory. If you remember, he started right at the back, 28th, and he's in a battle right now for 9th with Chris Butterill. Great showing from that Bowden Solutions car. Being chased down as well by Dion. Oh, oh, they've touched. That's a real shame. Phil getting it back on the track relatively quickly and cleanly. Yeah, and the only car that went past looked to have been a lap down on them, so that's good news. Lap 37, Ben's still in front and... I think this is the last lap. Is it? Oh, Daniel getting sideways, he's trying hard, so maybe it is, maybe you're right. I'm not sure, the flag doesn't look like it's out. Although, yeah, it, that looks like a celebration to me, so 38 yeah. laps it was. <laughs> Ackerson takes the lead, and there, there is one of the reasons we might have to watch it in advance next time, but who cares, that was good fun to watch at the same sort of pace as everyone else's, so really great bit of pit strategy ultimately by Ben he definitely said that it was down to um, fuel saving during the parts of the race that he was following Daniel so that's that's played into his hands you want to do the honours of uh, running through some of the race result Alan just the top yeah, 10 or so certainly uh, we have Ben Hackerson for Seagate he won the race today glad to, glad to see something that somebody different won on it for a change no harm Daniel but somebody else has to win time to time in the second place we have Daniel, uh, then we have Mr. Wamsley in third, Mr. Van Delden in fourth, Tony Baird fifth, Ryan Walker sixth, Barry Baird seventh, myself back up to eighth, uh, Chris Burtrell ninth and Phil Gregory tenth. Yeah, great work and uh, you can see the rest of the results on that left hand side including a very disappointing fourth thing for myself. Um, so the driver standings pretty much unchanged but a bit more of a gap between some of the positions with uh, Daniel taking an 11 point lead over Ben but obviously that's been reduced a little bit after this round um, you can see Paul Wormsley in third myself in fourth and Tony Bird in fifth uh, I'm just actually noticing I've moved up two places which I didn't know I had done well that's, uh, that's this is a good time to find out then um, the team standings, Acorn, somehow we still managed to extend the lead up the top of that team championship. So that was a great round, I think. Next week we've got the round five, which is at Mount Panorama, Bathurst. Uh, it's going to be a massive event, I think, that one. Very tricky circuit. So uh, subscribe and find us next time.